All right, guys. So we got some wiring done. Uh, the tail light is fully operational. Cleaned up that mess. Um, I know it still kind of looks a little bit messy, but uh, trust me, if you compare it to um, the last video, you will see that there is a major difference. Um, got rid of the uh, not even shade tree wiring, just a mess. Um, there were wire nuts, two or two or three wire nuts and loose wires hanging everywhere and yeah so we got everything cleaned up. Everything that was twist tied together has been soldered and um, uh, cleaned up the ground that was kind of just all janky and um, re-ran a new ground wire. I still have to zip tie that. But we have fully operational lights. Fully operational lights. Uh, kind of a little bit uh, ran the battery down while I was doing all my uh, testing and, and verification but we have I guess maybe I can demo it for you um, so once again we have working lights those are new the last ones were busted tail light the running light is operational rear brake Oh, sorry for the shaky camera. Front brake. Left turn. And right turn. We guys are in business. So now I am waiting for the rest of my parts to show up. Foot pegs. Grips. I ordered a carbon fiber windscreen. I think I told you that last time. Um, what else did I? Oh, plug wires. So yeah, here's the thing. Um, the eBay guy who makes these, these are good plug wires, by the way. The, the dude has a good product. I'm assuming it's a dude. Um, out of California that uh, has some Taylor spark plug wire uh, kit for the Buell XB9SX and um, so I was like, wow, you know, it's better than me making my own and actually cheaper than me making my own. So I ordered it and, uh, man, they are not going to be here to the end of the flipping month. So I contacted him. Hopefully he can step it up. Uh, he's already printed the shipping receipt or shipping, uh, label. He just hasn't taken it to the post office. And I know things are kind of rough in California right now with COVID-19 going on. The quarantine out there is more strict than it is in Texas. So um, I'm hoping he can figure something out. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be a jerk to the guy because I know he's under pressure. But I am too, actually, a little bit. Uh, I have to get this thing registered before the 24th of May. And it is the 8th of May today. And... Um, his wires aren't going to show up till the 27th and that puts me in a bit, a bit of a bind. So if he can just get it here before then, I'll be happy. I, I'd be happier. I'd be happy. Yes. If they were already here and I could start this thing and let you guys hear it. Um, but they're not another little quick update. No big deal. But, um, last night I was bored. There was a big storm that blew through our area and, uh, I clean those nasty rims. They look 20 times better. I won't say 100 times better. Uh, back rim. There's some um, blemishes in the powder coating. You can kind of see it from here, maybe. There are some blemishes. Um, I got to figure out how to get those out. I think there's a um, product that McGuire's makes that can get rid of that. Um, I made a little bit of a mess on the engine when I was working on the wiring, but I cleaned the engine off some more and uh, got those side cases looking pretty sharp, I think. Um, washed the engine off. I don't remember if I told you that in the last video or not, but that also happened. There's the other side. Um, the plastics were, you know, they were sun bleached a little bit. And so they've come back. Uh, they look pretty good. So side case there looks good. Um, 
I've got to buy two more Allens for the front part of the lower fairing. The ones I got are too long, um, so I'm going to get some shorter ones, same size, but just shorter. And that'll tie that end up. And then I have a question for you guys. I know what I want to do, but so I, this, this scoop here, it helps air get directed into the intake, gets cool air up into there, and then also forces cool air to that back cylinder and helps with cooling that back cylinder off. Um, okay, well, let me back up. There are two, two that I'm looking at. One is a really good condition factory air scoop um, for like 30 bucks, right? It looks great. There's no scratches or anything on it and it'll do the job. And then I found a carbon fiber one that is like 90 bucks. Um, there's some that are more like twice as much as that. Um, you know, what's funny about carbon fiber parts is that I'm looking at all these and, um, I know that there are differences in the quality, right? But none of them that I have looked at have the holes pre-drilled. So you have to drill them yourself. And that's not a huge deal. Um, that can be done. I'll do it. But you would think for, you know, I can understand maybe the $80, $90 one not having holes drilled. Actually, I don't really understand that. I think it should be drilled, but, but okay, let's just give them benefit of doubt. I can understand they're not being holes drilled. But um, the one that's 180, I mean, come on, put some holes in it, really. Um, there may be somebody that feels differently and I'm sure they will absolutely let me know in the comments down below, but that's just how I feel about it. I think that, you know, if you're paying that much money, you know, um, maybe you have a better process for carbon fiber, maybe the end result is better. I don't know, but I think that three holes being drilled isn't that much to ask for, you know, if you want to just really kick it up a notch, that'd be a good idea to do, in my opinion. So, that's my two cents. Also, um, cleaned up the front fender, just put some McGuire's on it, clean that up. Um, also, uh, I also mentioned the uh, rotors in one of my videos. Uh, I mic'd those out and they are still in spec. Yay, I'm stoked about that. Um, I don't know how hard it'll be to find a new rotor. I need to look that up online and see if anybody's got some. And, and it does not bother me to use aftermarket. Obviously, I have no issue using aftermarket parts. Um, so, if you guys know of any, you know a good source on rotors, let me know. Because I'd imagine probably next brake job, I'm going to have to do rotors um, and uh, they'll just add to the cost okay well I think that about wraps up this video um, I am so stoked I was I was worried honestly that the rat's nest of wiring back there would pose more issues than it actually did and I'm glad that everything's hunky-dory now and I have working lights look at all that mess I left I gotta clean all that up but we are so close, so close to being on the road and riding. Um, I'm not gonna be able to show you any videos of me riding. I don't have a GoPro and I don't think I wanna get one. That'll get replaced at some point. I think probably wanna get the tire replaced on the back. I'll try and buy one of those and have, um, have them put that on. I, I know how to do my own tires. And those of you who changed your own tires know it sucks. <laughs> I don't want to do it. So I'm going to take it to a shop. There's a bike shop here in town and they have a tire machine and they can get those tires on for me faster than I can. And I think they're probably worth the money to get that done for me. So front tires in really good shape. This is in good shape too. I don't want to make it sound like it's in bad shape. Um, it's just that, you know, eventually that'll be getting replaced. All right, I'm rambling, as usual. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, stay subscribed so you know what's going on, um, how the bike's doing, and 
if you have any uh, input for me about Buell's, what, what I, you think I should uh, take a look at in terms of parts, kits, mods, things like that, let me know. Hasta la pasta.